Hey what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel and this video is about this lazy loading list views um, I didn't want to make the video on this but uh, a couple of times people asked me this question and it happened day before yesterday also that someone asked me this question so I thought I should make a video on it so what actually happens that if you have a long list let's say as you can see we have around 70 items here this is the 70 items and now if I scroll uh, it's fine. I mean, it's very good um, because I am using list view dot builder. So it is preferable that uh, you don't use normal list views rather use list view builder, which is kind of a recycler view. So you, you can use it, but uh, there can be some questions like, uh, let's say I don't want to, you know, um, have all this 17, uh, 70 items at once, but rather I just want to add 10 items. And then when he is reaching to the last position then I want to add more and then up to so on like whenever I'm scrolling at the end when I'm at the end of the position uh, or at the end of the list then it should add let's say 10 more items so uh, by 10 scrolls or by 7 scrolls I want to go to 10, 10 items each time so then on 7 seventh scroll I will be having 70 items so that's that's the idea and how you can implement that so this video is about that so let's let's do it so as of now you can see this is my um, new repository which is flutter utils which i have just created it is available on github and all these kind of samples i will be putting it uh, all of them at one place so right now this is just main.dart and then there is only one file lazy loading page.dart where i have this uh, lazy loading list so right now i am generating 70 items and i'm just naming them item uh, index plus one and it has this list view dot builder item extent is 100 so that it can uh, have some height uh, because i wanted to cover the whole screen if you want to change it you can so let's make it uh, 80 to look even better so these are 10 items at once and now what i'm gonna do i'm let's add uh, just 10 items at once and then we will see how we can add more items uh, below this particular list so this is the situation right now uh, what I want to do is for achieving that uh, that when you scroll then you want to add some items you need to implement scroll country uh, controller to your list if you're using grid views then also you can attach that scroll controller uh, in case of list view obviously you can do that so what we are going to do first of all we will add here uh, scroll controller so scroll controller and scroll controller as a new scroll controller so this is the first thing you have to do now we are already doing the uh, initialization of that list in init state so below this maybe you can use your scroll controller to add your listener so whenever you are scrolling there should be a listener which can give you certain pixels or positions so here we can uh, listen for them so um, what you can do here that when you apply this listener you can check the position of your um, like what's the position of your scroll controller so you can check scroll code controller dot position dot pixels okay so this will give you the uh, exact pixels and you need to match it with the scroll controller dot position dot uh, maximum scroll extent that what can be the maximum scroll extent if both are equal which means you are at the end of the list uh, to particular um, you can say canvas which you can see and then at this particular time you can ask for more data so get more data this is fine now we will make a new method here which will be get more data okay and then we will perform something here now when you are doing this then obviously your list view dot builder has this controller where you can see it takes a scroll controller so you can just pass your scroll controller and that would be fine now you can see whenever i will do this let's let's say i want to print get more data okay data and uh, i will open my debug console here and we will see if that works first of all we will do a hot restart because we have added something in init state now restarted application now i'll just scroll from the end 
is it working yes you can see flutter get more data so which means it is working if let's say i am making it 20 for the first time so if i'll just do a hot restart so now if i'll scroll okay get more data is there okay and yep so it it is working pretty fine so now what we will do uh let's let's make it 10 again so that uh, we can add more data to it by the time now to add more data what i'll do i'll uh, first of all i'll take a maximum length of the list as of now so let's say if i'll say int sorry int current max what is the current max value okay so current max value is 10 as of now because we we can see the item 10 now what i'll do here in get more data i will make a loop which starts from let's say i have a i which is equal to current max okay so this is current max which is 10 as of now and i will say that i should be less than current max plus 10 let's say because uh, we just want 10 items at a time and then i plus plus okay this is what we are doing now when it is happening then what i'll do i'll add this particular item to my list so i can just copy it from here and we can just paste it here okay this is fine and we are good to go and then when it will be over then we can just call set state what will happen that it will rebuild the ui and at that time what i want to do i want to change the current max value to current max plus 10 so this will be the final value then now let's do a hot restart and let's try so this is 1 to 10 items if i scroll a little bit then you can see after some time it added one item 11 to 20 and now if i scroll then it will add some items after taking some time obviously there will be some time so 30 if i scroll more so it will work until unless i'm not stopping it it will work till infinity uh, wherever you want to go so this is working fine but i want to show something which can show that something is loading okay user don't want to wait until unless he knows that something is loading so what we can do um we are going to increase our item count length to plus one why because for the uh, minus one position or you can say for the equal length position we are going to show an indicator that something is loading that's why this is plus one so now what i'll do if my i is equal to equal to my list dot length if the length is equal to the ith value then i obviously i'm at the end of the list and i want to show some indicator so what i'm going to do rather than importing the normal material app I, i'm gonna import the cupertino as well because it gives uh, that uh, cupertino indicator which looks pretty cool uh, especially for ios devices so i can just return here cupertino activity indicator okay and then if i'll just scroll let me just do a hot restart just to make sure that everything is on place so now if you will do you can see have you seen this so there is an activity indicator which is showing how to that that the something is loading so this is the case with list view dot builder obviously if you are using grid view dot builder then also you can uh, do the same thing then you can just uh, say item count is plus two and for i for the ith position and i plus one position you can uh, show two indicators if you have two items in the cross extent okay so this is what you can do and uh, i guess you know the idea behind it so this is how you can is add multiple items in your list when people scroll and you can maybe stop at certain point it's your call so this is a proper way of doing it thank you so much guys for watching i hope you uh, enjoyed this video and you learned something and also make sure you are the subscriber of the channel and also press the bell icon for future updates and the code is available on github so you can check it out there thank you for so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video